a city that was once perceived as just a military town and known for being a bit rough around the edges, has recently transformed into the next must-live destination in all of San Diego County. And bonus, it's still relatively affordable too. I'm Jamie Lennon, a local realtor, and today I'm showing you everything there is to know about living in Oceanside. If you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the greater San Diego region, as always, you can call, text, or email me anytime. All my contact information can be found in the description below. Oceanside, for the most part, has had this stereotype, but I'll say over the last 10 years or so, this town has really transformed from being a military town to a highly sought after city everybody is talking about. And that's because developers have come in and they are reshaping the entire look and feel of the city. You're gonna find new construction popping up everywhere, especially in the downtown area. So take this building, for example. These are condos, they're priced between 789,000 to 1.35 million. I have to make note that this is only four blocks to the ocean. So for this price point, and given the fact that they're brand new, you're not going to find this anywhere else in the county. So right now they have some that are move-in ready and then a last phase are still under construction. And there are two more condominium buildings being built right next door right now. If you want further information on this new community, go ahead and shoot me over an email and I'll send you over all the details. Just in the last four years, there have been a plethora of new hotels come to the downtown area, including the Mission Pacific Hotel and the Seabird Resort. There's also been a bunch of new mid-rise apartment buildings and condo buildings. And then when looking for new single family homes, all those are gonna be found trotting inland. Oceanside has also launched and sustained a new generation of restaurants and retailers, including several lively places in the neighborhood locals like to call South O. South O, which is nicknamed for South Oceanside, has a lot of the trendy restaurants and shops. Majority of them are actually going to be along South Coast Highway, which is right here. I see this area picking up faster than the rest of Oceanside. I mean, none of these places were here two years ago. And one of my favorite spots is Revolution Roasters. They have really good coffee, but I come here, thank you. I come here for the avocado toast. It is the best I've ever had, and I eat a lot of avocado toast. Look at that. I mean, if loving avocado toast is wrong, I got no business being right. That's the stage that they filmed the movie Bring It On. Do you remember that movie? From San Diego, California, the Rancho Carne Toro. Remember? U G L Y, you ain't got no. Yeah. It's right there. But aside from that, this is an amphitheater and it's right on the beach and they host concerts and shows here pretty much all year long, but you'll find a ton in the summertime. Downtown Oside used to be the center of dive bars and gentlemen's clubs, even though I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. So let's just call a spade a spade and say there used to be a ton of strip clubs in this area. But today's downtown has a completely different landscape and feel. It's filled with trendy restaurants, retailers, cafes, there's surf shops and four star hotels. And I didn't plan this, but I stumbled upon their farmer's market. So there you go, every Thursday. One thing SoCal is known for is its California burritos. And where do you get the best one? Right there. But of course there are still barber shops and stores that cater to our service members. After all, the US Marine base at Camp Pendleton borders Oceanside to the north. The military base was established in 1942 and encompasses 200 square miles, and it was once the driver for the local economy here. Even though the city has a strong and symbiotic relationship with the Marine Corps, the economic impact that the military once had on the city, we're seeing a gradual decline over the last two decades as tourism is growing so fast for the city. So the military is no longer the main driver of business. 
for Oceanside. One of the biggest factors to consider when thinking about living in Oceanside is its location. It's going to be the most northern city in the county and about a 45 minute drive to the San Diego airport. So for anyone who works in San Diego or who travels often, it could be a bit of a stretch. But given its location near Orange County, it attracts a lot of residents. <laughs> but it works well for Orange County residents because they have the they have the option of living down in Oceanside, which is going to be the most affordable coastal city. So for those who work in Orange County or maybe even up to LA, who knows, um, they can have the option to live in Oceanside if they really wanna live in a coastal town because it is the most affordable. Oceanside is one of the biggest cities in the county, spanning across 42 square miles with 44 different neighborhoods and a growing population of 173,000 residents. It's really split up into three sections. You have downtown, you have South Oceanside, and then you have everything inland, which is going to be east off the five freeway. So most people, when they think of Oceanside, they think of the coast or the downtown area, but there's only three miles of coastline in Oceanside. So the majority of the city is going to be inland. Now you do get older homes when you're west off the five, so in that downtown area, but everything inland, most of these homes are gonna be built between 1960 and 1980. Remember when I said that Oceanside was the most affordable coastal city in Southern California? Well, due to all the recent developments and revitalization efforts, people have really started to put Oceanside on their radar, and it's become a hot spot for home ownership, even though you can still snag an oceanfront property for under $3 million. And as we head more inland, you're gonna find single family homes in good areas, updated with ample square footage and a decent lot size, valued under a million dollars, or in some cases, under $900,000. And let's take it a step further. For those looking for a starter home or investment property, you can find a great condo for less than $500,000. And you're gonna be within a 10 minute drive to the coast. Just like most cities, there are going to be pockets with some areas appearing to be more taken care of than others. You see, I'm really trying to choose my words wisely here, but they are going to be crisscrossed. So there's not necessarily going to be one neighborhood in Oceanside to avoid. What I recommend is just getting somebody who really understands Oceanside and can help point you in the right direction when you're looking for a certain type of look and feel in a neighborhood. Right now, Oceanside gives you the best bang for your buck, especially when we're talking about coastal cities, but with all the changes that are happening, some are speculating that those changes are gentrifying Oceanside and killing the last affordable city in Southern California, really. And since there are so many changes and developments happening, next week I will be posting a video about pretty much what the future looks like in Oceanside, so make sure you be on the lookout for that coming soon. Not only does Oceanside offer an incredible value proposition for home buyers, it also offers a lifestyle you'll enjoy. One of my favorite golf courses will be found here at Arrowwood. Play 18 here and you'll get it. For those who enjoy being surrounded by nature, we have the San Luis Rey River Trail, which offers miles of scenic beauty, a weekly farmer's market and sunset market located in the city's downtown. How about renting a boat for the day out of Harbor Village? You can enjoy all the amazing food as the culinary scene here has exploded, offering an array of unique dining options from farm to table eateries to trendy cafes and local breweries. Or you can take the coast up to LA for the day or San Diego. Oceanside's once reputation is no more. And that's coming from somebody who grew up coming down here for beach days. It has really reestablished itself and it's the true testament of the power of a vision. Hey, if you want more information on Oceanside or just have any questions for me, go ahead and email me. I will leave my email right here for you. And if you are looking at buying or selling anywhere in the San Diego region, know that you can give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email anytime because we want to help you make a smooth move out to the best in the West. And I'm going to leave you the same way I always do, and that is to stay classy. Stay classy.
San Diego.